my colleagues and I get into heated debates in the hall about whether or not the pronoun they can be singular. I say it can, he vehemently disagrees. here is often called the singular generic pronoun question. We have the pronoun he for males, we have she for females, we have it for inanimate objects, but what do you do when you're referring to a person of unknown or unspecified gender? We could take a sentence like, a teacher should learn blank students names. His suggests the teacher is male, her suggests the teacher is female. His or her seems a bit cumbersome. So what do we do? In the spoken language, what many of us would do would say a teacher should learn their students' names. We would use they. Now some people will say, but they cannot be singular. Here's my evidence that it can. If I say to you, I was talking to a friend of mine and they said it's a terrible movie. Most people, for most people, that sentence would go unremarked. I was talking to a friend of mine, and they said, I'm clearly talking about one person, but I don't want you to know whether they're male or female, or it doesn't matter, and so I say, they. What about the argument that it's impossible for a word to be both singular and plural at the same time? Well, I would say we already have evidence in the language that it's very possible. If you take the pronoun you, you can be singular, talking to one person, you are very wonderful. I'm talking to a whole group of people, you are very wonderful. And we use the same verb are in standard varieties of English for both one person and many people. They has done exactly the same thing to take on a singular and a plural meaning. And it's actually been doing that for centuries. Jane Austen used singular they, Shakespeare used singular they. I have found examples going back into the Middle English period of singular they. So speakers a long time ago solved the problem of how do you refer to a person of unknown or unspecified gender. It was the 18th century when grammarians told us that singular they was not a good idea and that we should use he instead. It was the 1970s with feminism that people said, using singular he is sexist, we need to do something else, and we were all told to use he or she. And many of us use that when we write, but when we speak, we tend to use they, and studies show that the vast majority of the time, most of us use singular they. So it's a problem that we as speakers have already solved. The interesting question is, at what point will we be told that we're allowed to write singular they down? And it's, you can watch, it's becoming more and more common. You'll now see singular they in newspapers and magazines as it slowly creeps its way into more formal writing out of the speech that we use every day.